Hi everybody! Today we're going to be making some musical instruments out of everyday objects that you might have in your home. So if you need the instructions, ask your foster carer to get them off the website, they're on the carer login, um, and we've put PDFs of all of the little activities that we've got going on this month. Um, so what you will need, we're going to make two different instruments today, and both of them will be shakers. So we've got, you'll need a toilet roll holder, some paper plates, you'll need some things that will make a noise once they're put in your shaker. So I've got some dry rice and I've got some dry pasta. You might have beads or buttons, for example. So anything that you think would make a noise that will fit inside um, either your paper plate or the toilet roll holder will, will work just fine. But I've chosen to use rice and pasta. You'll need some felt tip pens. I've, I've chosen to decorate the toilet roll holder with felt tip pens this time. It's up to you if you prefer to use paints. So I've also got some paints as I am going to be painting my paper plate shaker. Um, if you want to go a little bit further with your decoration, get hold of some other bits and bobs that you've got around the house. So um, I've cut a little bit of felt into the shape of some hair. I've got a couple of um, feathers. And I've got a little bit of red paper and I've got some googly eyes as well because I'm going to turn my paper plate shaker into a little monster. Okay, um, you will also need two lollipop sticks because these will be the handles for our shakers. Okay, so because I'm going to be working much faster than you are, I have my hot glue gun which should only be operated by a grown up. So you might have sellotape or PVA glue. Um, I'm just using the hot glue gun because it dries much quicker. So I'll be able to show you um, in, a, in a much faster way how to make your shakers. So to start with, we're going to work on our toilet roll holder. So I'll put that to one side. So what you need to do to start with is to decide what color you want to paint it. Now I've chosen to paint mine a crisp white color. So, this is the one I made earlier, okay? So I painted that white. So once you've got your uh, toilet roll tube painted, you then need to cut out a shape um, that will fit over the end of your toilet roll tube. So what I have done, because I've, I've already done mine, is I just put the toilet roll tube on a piece of white card or any coloured card, cut around and just leave a little gap. So if I do this to demonstrate for you, so I just do a rough circle around but, but leaving a bigger gap. And then if you cut that out, you'll have a shape. That looks like this, so a circle shape, which will go over the top of the toilet roll tube. And then if you just push that down around, you might have to make some little cuts like this with some scissors around the edge. Push that down and then glue it in place, okay? Now I use my hot glue gun to glue this one in place. You might use sellotape or you might use your PVA glue, okay? But what we've got then is a, a bottom to the toilet roll holder that's been painted in your desired colour. So next we've got to fill this with our um, whatever you've chosen to fill your shakers with. So for this one I'm going to put a few little bits of pasta in and then I've also got just some brown rice that I'm going to pop in there as well. Okay and if I put my hand over the top you can already hear that it's got a good shape noise to it, so I'm happy with that. So with the lid, I'm going to glue that in place on top there. So again, I'm going to use my hot glue gun and you'll use PVA. So when you do cut that circle out of the um, cardboard, make sure you do a couple. One for the bottom and one for the top. So I'm just going to glue that in place. A 
refill my glue gun. Let's touch up those bits there. There we go. So, the shake is sealed and there's no rice or pasta falling out, so I know that I've done a good job there. So, what I'm going to do next is I've decided with this one to use felt tip pens to draw my designs. So, we'll fast forward through this bit and then you can see the final, final finished piece. So, I just decided to do some geometric shapes on there and I've put a star on the top and the bottom of my shaker. And the last thing to do for this one is to attach your handle. So, if you get your lollipop stick, put a bit of glue or sellotape tape on the back and then glue that down. I'm gonna use the hot glue gun for this part. And just glue that in place. You might need to give it a little bit longer to dry, but hot glue guns don't take long to dry, so. Their shaker number one that's completed using the toilet bowl. So the next shaker that we're going to make is one out of um, paper plates. So you're going to need two paper plates and what I want you to do is to place them that way down and you're going to paint the the bottom of the plate. So normally you'd have your plate that way up with your food on. I want you to turn it over and with two paper plates paint the, the bottom of the plate whatever colour you want, you can go wild with your designs, whatever colour you'd like. I decided to paint mine blue, so these are a couple that I made earlier. So I've got two paper plates that are blue. So what I need to do now with those, quite simply, is to seal them up together, okay? But before I do that, I need to put the brown rice that I've got to one side in the middle like this, okay? Now, before we, on this, on this uh, toilet roll shaker, we glued this, the handle on at the end, but this time we're gonna glue this on at the start. Um, so you just wanna put it at the bottom of one of the paper plates and glue that onto the bottom, and then we're gonna seal it together with the other plate. glue that and I'm going to glue that in. I'm just going to give it a moment to dry. Okay. And then we're going to glue all around the edge and again you might you you will use PVA glue for this. So put some glue all around the edge and then seal that in with your other paper plate. You, you might want to put a book or something heavy on top of this so that you definitely get it fully sealed together. Okay. I'm just putting a lot of pressure around the edges just to make sure that there's no gaps for this rice to escape out of. Okay, you can already hear it rattling. Okay. Now, if you like, you could just leave your design just like that, depending on what um, colour you've gone for. But I'm going a little bit further with my design. I want to turn mine into a little monster. So, I've got some googly eyes to add. One there. And one there. So there's the googly eyes added. I'll turn it that way around so you get a better view. I've got a little pom pom for the nose. And I've cut out a mouth shape for the mouth. That doesn't need much glue to hold that on because it's so light. And then I've also got some green felt for the hair. And I 
think we'll just put one feather on there. So what I'm going to do is glue those on from the back. moment to dry. Just give that feather a little bit longer to dry. And there, get rid of that those little bit of glue from the glue gum. There you have a paper plate, monster shaker, and a shaker made out of clear roll tubes. I hope that you all have a really good time doing this activity. Do send us in your pictures because we'd love to see what you come up with. Uh, have a lovely rest of your day.